Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva, and this is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This will be my Halloween special Let's Play, and but there is a very good possibility this will continue after Halloween anyway. But I decided not to play Masters, uh, uh, Warlock Masters of the Arcane because, you know, in spring the second one is coming out, so I might wait for that. And I'm just in the mood to play some Skyrim, you know. I haven't played this in a long time, and I'm just really feeling it again, especially because I still haven't done any of the expansions except build my house in Hearthfire, really. That's the only thing I've done. Hey, you. Finally awake. Oh, hello. You were trying to cross the border, right? Uh, yes, I did. right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there. You and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. Really? It's the Stormcloaks? They're all brothers and sisters in minds now, thief. Okay. Out back there. Yes, What's thank you. With him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Who am I? Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the Rebellion. But if they've captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. I think we're going to Helgen. Not entirely sure. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Well, anyway... Um... What village are you from, horse thief? Yeah, so there's one quirk that will be me playing. I played Morrowind, which is the Elder Scrolls 3, on my Xbox years ago, and I played it a lot. And yeah, you only have a controller, so I'm most comfortable playing Skyrim as well with the controller. So you will see some quirks in how it's fighting, how the menu works mostly. But it's just the way I like to play, and sometimes you might hear me. Uh, is the you you might hear me and do the like thumbsticks if I'm them. too eager in doing yeah, stuff. But I bet they had something to yeah, do and of course the subtitles is on because sometimes I will want to keep talking over them, over what you're saying. I try to, I will try to keep that to a minimum though because it's part of the enjoyment for you as well for me. But. You know, uh, sometimes I just have to say stuff and you'll have to read what I'm saying down there or well, what the guy, people around me are saying. And because this is the start of a Halloween special edition, maybe, the uh, start of this Let's Play anyway, I'm going to go for a full magic character. I'm going to try and not use any weapon at all except for the tutorial when you are forced to use a weapon at one point at least. But after that it's just going to be spells and at most a shield. Or well, one thing that does count of course is a conjured weapon. I mean those do count as spells in any sense. But it's not going to be... I know, I know. Okay, this is out of my control, but yeah, so magic, I mean, might become a vampire as well. That that fits in with the Halloween theme, definitely. Um, it seems a little bit laggy, but that's fine. Must be the recording, but it does look good. I, there are some mods in this, obviously, because playing without mods is... Oh, ah, that was a save. That that's was why the, uh, the bump happened, but... Yeah, so... I do play with mods because there are quite a few, there are a lot of mods actually that enhance the gameplay. Um, most of them are graphics though, there are not really any mods that actually change the game in the biggest of sense, except maybe some quality of life changes such as the Berenzia quest marker uh, qu mod, which is basically the most uh, popular mod in the game, basically, it's highest rated on, on Steam Workshop. Who are you? Me? I um. Let's see, when can I do my name? So yeah, here you see this is all done with the... Uh, with the... Uh, ooh, I can do headbanging. Yeah, let's headbang. Anyway, um, so what shall we play? 
I believe that oh that's an orc there's a red guard there's a wood elf my name is prisoner which will not be my name um, yeah so I'm going to be either a high elf uh, or a Breton boast a magic resistance to magic can call upon the dark skin power to absorb spells dragon skin not dark skin dragon skin uh, dark elves are fire so uh, surround themselves in fire are noted for their stealth and magic skills and hey it's it's a lizard but I I think I'm just going to go with a high elf because uh, Altmers are very good at uh, at magic and will be a female because why not uh, yeah I'm not going to take long doing the settings because it would take just way too long really I uh, just going to see yeah maybe some maybe a scar that's uh, a self-inflicted scar from a weapon or a beast whole reason I'm not doing anything but spells obviously um, yeah that's all fine I like the look of her right now very dark with um, with the hair the makeup and such but we will change the hair most likely to something yeah you can still see it's a little bit it's not the best it doesn't have the Tomb Raider uh, dress effects or whatever they're called for the uh, the nice um, hair effects that it has you know I like this hair and now the color uh, let's be a redheaded so that's fine um, X for done finish and name your character yes that's fine well we are obviously going to be and this has to be done with the bloody keyboard uh, we are Tokriva of course you are not with the Thalmor embassy are you high elf Ah yes, High Elf, Thelmer MC. Right. So High Elf also has some other uh, fun things about it. Half the population of Skyrim doesn't like you just out of principle that you're a High Elf. We'll make sure your remains are returned to the Somerset Isle. Whoa. Follow the captain, prisoner. He sounded quite German in that one. Anyway, uh yes, we can move. Also, oh no, it's moving for me. Anyway, um, I put the difficulty at Master, which is the second highest level. So, uh, only Legendary is higher. There are like six different levels. A lot of it is just how strong monsters are, and not so much at how smart they are, but this will mean this is going to be a little bit of a challenge for me as well. I only played at like the normal setting, which is Adept, I think. So you have Novice Apprentice, Adept, Expert, uh, master and legendary but now I've put it on master if that's still too easy we're going for legendary also what the hell was that give them their last rites as we commend your souls to Ethereus blessings of the eight divines upon for the love of Talos shut up and let's get this over as you wish and we're mostly going to be in first person I believe because that makes it a little bit easier to aim and such once in a while we can just go into third person mode but yeah this is also mostly for me to play the hearthfire and dragonborn expansions and this is going to be a long let's play if we continue after halloween for sure because it's a quite a big game really people fearless in death as he was in life there's Ralph. There's Ralph. So, as an high elf, we are pretty much going to be pro imperial, but we can always decide at a later point if we want to go with the empire or with the stormcloaks. So, actually, I'm gonna let you decide a lot of those big decisions in the game because, okay. I'm getting my head chopped off and it's a little bit wow okay this is graphically lagging but what in oblivion is that? uh that's a dragon what do you see? yeah I might have to tone down the settings a little bit just because of the recording but this might just be because this is a scripted event that it's lagging a little bit because it wasn't laggy that much before. Holy crap. 
I mean, this is a lot of uh, graphic fidelity going into the game, of course. Use left stick to move. Holy crap, Ralph. <laughs> you almost got hit by a bloody meteor. So make your way to the keep. We're in the keep. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. They don't? Okay. See, this, this is not lagging anymore. I mean, seriously, it was just the cutscenes and stuff. Well, the forced cutscene. I'm going up. I don't think I can... Whoa, hello, dragon. Oh god, really? Um, do we now have to jump out here? I think we do. What's jumping again? Holy shit. Oh, Y is jumping. I think I thought A was jumping, but that's... I think we're on fire right now. We need to... Whoa! They're roasting. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Come yes, on, I do. The boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Oh my, the city has been destroyed. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Elder Scrolls Online, by the way. Just to, like Wildstar, also. Both of them I'm going to play because I'm quite a big fan of the Elder Scrolls series. I would. Holy crap, that's. That's a wing. Almost in my face. Uh, yeah, so I've been playing these games since Morrowind, so very much love them. And Oblivion was good too. I played it on a computer that didn't really handle it very well. But Morrowind I did on the Xbox, uh, Game of the Year edition. Played it way too much. I think we'll have to tone down the graphics a little bit. You know what? I'm gonna do that right now if we can. So no, that's not controls, it's settings. Uh, hang on, what's the control on A is activate, yeah. That's a lot more logical than jumping, so. Um, display. We might have to do that actually, yeah, I think we'll have to do that outside of the game, so. So here you can see master. Uh, so we'll have to do that outside of the game, that's too bad. So that will be done between the first and the second episode, obviously. The two of them. With fire. Kill it with fire. Oh, hello. There it goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm just following uh, Hadvar because right now I'm Altmer and Altmer are supposed to be pro-Empire because they are currently ruling the Empire within the lore. So... That's a thing, you know, maybe, by the way, about the graphics, I might only have to tone down the anti-aliasing, actually, that might be enough. And we might not see any more lagging now that we are actually playing ourselves without a lot of it. Oh, Sounds of Skyrim, yes, enable. Um, That's one of the mods I have. Let's enable everything and see what happens with it. This makes 135 Skyrim NPCs snore while asleep. Uh... Okay. I will disable the Easter eggs though. Um, yeah, that's fine. So, please let me just continue the game Looks now. Like Thank you. Real. Oh god, we. Yeah, this has just happened. And the Easter eggs will not happen. God, another. And, okay, that's fine. That Are them all? Bring us of the end times. Uh, probably. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yes, please. I feel quite there useless. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear ah, to choose That's from. better. I'm going to find something for these bones. Okay. What do we have here? Iron sword. The key. That's actually useful. Um. Yes, we're using everything. Another sword because we can. Anything else here? Ooh, another chest. Just a helmet, which is nice. That chest would be empty. Ah, some gold. I will always take gold. Mixed unit tactics, probably useless book. Um, so menu would be B. 
items. Weapons, two swords, and we'll just dual wield for now because it's fun. Light armor with everything, which... And here we are. And now we have two swords. See, the graphics are already a lot better, but... Let's see what we need to do. <laughs> yeah, right. Stormcloaks, reason. Uh, stamina low because we are swinging two weapons, obviously. Well, of course, we cannot block right now because I'm using two weapons. Um, hang on. <laughs> I will uh, remove one weapon then because I guess I just need to block. One-handed increased. Oh my! Come on, die! Ooh! Kill animations. Those are the best. That's going to be a shame with uh, playing without weapons, though. So you might still say, "Hey, we want to see you destroy some dragons by beheading them quite funny in awesome ways." Then I can use a weapon, but from the onset, I just want to be a magic user. I believe there will be a point quite sh uh, shortly coming up where we can just switch to magic altogether. I mean, don't I have any spells yet? I actually do have flames. Which is good, so I can actually destroy people with magic. Okay, dragon. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. No, he doesn't. What are you doing? We need to get out of Helgen now! Let's see if we can get one stealth kill because it's fun. Nope. Die. Just die, burn him. Is the other one already dead? Oh yeah, he got fried. Ooh. Nice one. Did, did you really just manage to do that? That's a good one. Um, X would be this. Put that stuff away. Anything useful here? Mm. Ah, potion. Salt. More potions. Yeah, I also got a mod to reduce potion weight because those things really get just annoyingly big at one point. Alright, oh, you probably can do the takedowns of awesomeness with. Uh, with. A conjured weapon as well. I would hope so, actually. Anything up here of you? No, I don't think there's anything really important in here, is there? Ooh, tomatoes. Apples. Flour. Sacks of flour. Really, how much do they weigh? Uh, food. Sacks of flour. Wow, only half a pound or kilo or whatever it's supposed to be. Anything else? Not yet. Still no mage robes and stuff. Uh, yes, uh, the, these guys. Oh, they probably were the ones that went into that room. Okay, that's... Let's burn you up. You're dead-ish. Nothing interesting. Wow, we actually beat them all. That's nice. Uh, that's a shield. Oh, I could take a shield. Um, brief history of the empire by Stronach Choi the Third, an imperial historian. Before the rule of Tibur Septim, Old Hemriel was in chaos. Yeah, I really don't care right now. If you want to see me read books, please say so in the. Uh, Commons as well. I mean, it's going. It could be fun to do, but not entirely sure. Um, let's see. Ah, uh, yes, we could practice some lock picking if I had some locks to pick. Oh, yes, this one I need to pick. Where are the lock picks? Book of the Dragonborn. Ah, here they are. Um, that's good. 
The Dragonborn. Yeah, that that's supposed to be me, so. Looks like there's something in this cage. Anyway, um, let's unlock this door. Uh, rotate. Yeah, I get it. Uh, almost. A little bit further. Perfect. Yeah, I, lo I really love the lock picking together with uh, the way it works on. Ah, uh, that's perfect. Magicka increase. Robes. Yeah, you're naked now. Uh, apparel. I want the hood. I want the robes. I will take more damage from everything, but. This means I now have. Where are my stats? Skills, right? Yeah, 180 magicka to start with. I mean, we I get 50 from being high elf. Um, I need a book. I need to use the sparks book because. Um, where is it? Destruction. Sparks. It's a lot more fun. And every yeah fire oh wow it's actually more expensive to use sparks. Grab what you can and let's go. All the way, let's go. There's no way out of that way. More doors to unlock. Isn't there one that has something interesting? This oh hello, there's a purse of gold. I didn't even have to move the lockpick. That's interesting. Coin purse, fourteen gold for one lockpick. Let's see, where are we going? Hey, that guy. Nope, just some robes. Skeleton has bone meal, always nice. Going to do some alchemy with this guy as well. Um, let's see. Let's move on. Da, 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 da. When is the bear? Yeah, I've played this a couple of times already. Where in oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Um, hello. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, that's one thing that always goes wrong. Is that I... Oh, wow, the third one. Just... Just fry in hell. Yeah, I get it, I get it. Just die. Hey, that was a magic kill. Oh, that's the wrong person that we're attacking. No. Right now I do need some uh, assistance for my weapon. Isn't there one left? Oh wow, there are actually some archers over there. That doesn't actually reach though, that's annoying. Um, nothing of interest here. So let's run to the other side. And Oh, hello. Um, Yeah, that's always... I didn't want to do that. I didn't eat magic, Jesus. I need I needed magic not skills. So if we switch to flames we can put it on fire and if they run into it they take a lot more damage than they normally would. Also my own guys are standing in it, which is not useful at all. At least Hadvar is oh no, that's the torturous assistant. Okay, that would be a execution. Yeah, I, I do need to tone down the graphics a little bit. Uh, nothing of interest here. I just want to get through the tutorial though. So that will be the point where we'll switch gears and put the graphics a little bit down. Um, there's supposed to be a bear over here that we are not... Oh, not yet. The next area. Isn't there something interesting up there to get? I think so. A lot of places. Uh, oh, that's annoying. So there are points where spells become so much more fun to use, uh, mostly when you upgrade your destruction tree. Oh, it's actually nothing up here. That's too bad. Uh, what's here? Hey, that's a coin purse. Yoink. Uh, that's about all there is. Ah, there are some spiders over here, which will burn Nicely. Ooh, big spiders. Ooh, god, that's a lot of spiders. Let's just burn the small ones first. Because we can. There they go. Frostbite Venom. Yeah, this is so heavy. That's a big one. Now you die! Got Whoa. Um, yeah, good question. Um, this is annoying. Now I really need some... Healing. Oh 
god, the poison! The poison! The poison, really? How long does that take effect? Not long, luckily. Jesus. Oh god, I, I'm going to need something that removes poison pretty damn fast. Because that was a lot. Um, you know what we're gonna do, by the way? Let's go to magic and let's put sparks on the right. Because you can dual wield spells, which is just amazing. And at one point we're probably going to have to dual wield the healing spell as well and such things. Um, let's see, that, or there was a coin purse here. Nope, there is at least a potion of health. No coin purse. I thought I saw a coin purse. Too bad. Um, yeah. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her there now? I'd rather That's not a coin purse. With her right now. We might be able to sneak by. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you step. Or if you're feeling lucky, you can take this bow. Might take it by surprise. That's the bear. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's at least try the bow for this. I did one fun playthrough as a sneaking character. That's the further I've gotten. Ah, and we actually get a... <laughs> that was a special kill with a bow. That's cool. Um, so back to magic though. Sparks. Uh, oh, we turned around. They're dead. Yay. I think there might be some stuff behind here. What the bear was guarding. Uh, that's a negatory, sir. Okay, let's continue on then. Almost through the tutorial area then, I believe. Something up here. Uh, nope, not really. Everything else is in the outside world. And this here it is. The there we go. That would be the end of the first part of this let's play anyway i hope you enjoyed yourself make sure to like and share uh, because this is a new one i mean you can get in right from the start make comments on how i'm playing or if it's good or bad i mean seriously huh. yeah so welcome to skyrim Do you have anything to say still there goes the dragon so yeah, that's about it. So I want to thank you all like for watching. Good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Yes. Is that it? Come. Okay. I'm sure he'd help you out. So we need to go to the blacksmith in Riverwood. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Goodbye, Hadvar. Goodbye. So and again, thank you all for watching. Please leave comments if you have anything to say about it. And I will see you guys later.